folks, Dave here at Creative Craft House to show you a new uh, game in our series of historical or traditional games that we're trying to introduce. This one is uh, from Korea, Five Field Konu, um, and we also have Four Field Konu, which is really quite different. I I'm told that, that, that the word uh, Konu is um, kind of a generic game uh, word for game board. Um, and this is kind of interesting. It, it's uh, said to be perhaps the thing that the, uh, the Western Chinese checkers was based upon because it's quite similar in style. Uh, it's a two-player strategy game. And before I get into the rules, let me show you what we've got here. This is a nice uh, wood board that we do. It's about s a little more than seven and a half inches square uh, in the cover, actually. It does come with this base and cover. It comes over the top, keeps everything nicely in place. Um, we've laser engraved um, the name here on the frame. Now, the goal of the game is to occupy the other person's starting territory, and it, it starts out like this, with each each player having five men. Um, somebody goes first, and in your turn, you move uh, just one peg at a time, and in this game, unlike a four-field Kono, in this game you only move on the diagonal. So, for example, this piece could go here, or this piece could go here, so forth. There's no orthogonal, there's no left-right. All moves are diagonal in this particular game. P pieces do not jump over one another. They just move to an open space. And there are no captures in this game. The pegs will stay on the board <coughs> excuse me, at all times. Uh, since since only one piece may occupy a point at any one time, it's possible to block the opponent's pieces from moving. The game ends when one player has moved across the board to uh, occupy all points in which the opponent started. However, if a, if a player should leave pieces in the initial starting position to permanently block the other player, the, the other player may win by occupying just the spaces he has, had vacated. In other words, if you if red left a piece here uh, and blue got into all the other spaces but couldn't get into this one because red was in there, blue would win. Okay. If neither player can get past the other, then they can both uh, agree the game is a draw. Uh, the the age of this game is unknown. It's thought to be uh, quite uh, quite ancient, uh, but it was first recorded in the West uh, in 1895. Um, a time in which a, a series of Korean games were documented. Um, okay, uh, available at Creative Craft House, made in our Florida shop, and I hope it's something uh, you can enjoy.